some funny things for me with Thanksgiving. Not funny, haha. You said Advent. That's what I latched onto. No, well, one. How do we still celebrate Thanksgiving? Yeah. When it's, I think if I remember my childhood correctly, it's supposed to be the Native Americans and the British colonists coming together for a meal. Mm -hmm. How does this holiday still exist? It's weird that given Columbus the, Day catches so much flack. Given the complete genocide, it's people must just <laughs> like it. It's kind of yeah. like how you don't replace, uh, you don't replace something until the technology overcomes it. You know, mm -hmm. like slavery was very much aided by the cotton gin being invented. Mm -hmm. People love Thanksgiving so much that they're just willing to overlook that we're kind of celebrating a genocide. Well, I don't know the specific story. Maybe somebody somewhere had a meal with some Indians in, in Even New Even if they did, though, doesn't yeah. it seem like a strange holiday? Well, the story, it's not necessarily strange. The story as it's told in elementary school seems unnecessary. Like, we don't have to say. Sure, that don't we make all, it about Native Americans. We all got together over a cornucopia and, and had this wonderful meal. Just say it's a day to give thanks. Sure. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. totally for that. You don't have to get rid of Thanksgiving. I, it seems really wrong to be celebrating anything re revolving around the colonists and the Native Americans, there was a given the massive death of native americans super interesting and he's gonna have a series you don't watch cgp gray but i'll ask you which do you think is the preferred term native american or indian i would have assumed native american and now you know that because i'm asking you it's it's apparently he, this guy he makes a uh, fairly well researched videos so i, I give him this trust interviewing people? interviewing people on reservations uh, no, it's 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 the the culmination. He does animated videos about it, and so he says, "When I went to these things, by and large, the preferred term was Indian." Now, mm -hmm. yes, it arose out of here. I mean, here's what the video is. You should definitely watch it. When we got to America, there were more peoples in America than <laughs> than anywhere, right? Uh, they all called themselves different things. The title which we foolishly slapped on them at the time was Indian. As times passed, and of course many of them died from smallpox and were, were given these broken treaties, which were over and over broken, pushed back further and further back into the, the heartland of wherever they are, North Dakota, Montana right now, uh, they did culminate around this, I this identity of Indian. Whether you were uh, Iroquois or, or whatever you were, you would be like, okay, we, we need this shared identity. Yeah, yeah. And so they self-identify as Indians. And then some white person somewhere <laughs> was like, that's not right. They're not Indian. What they are is Native American. And they start calling, you know, 99% of the people say, oh, we've decided they're Native American. Fascinating. And he goes to the reservations like, no, call me Indian. Like, I'm an Indian. Uh, I don't want to be a Native American. Huh. And it's just another example of like, you know, it's just very interesting when you're trying to be PC without – Consulting, consulting the, the yeah. individual who who it, it is about. That is fascinating. Uh, and, of course, this is just his experience, but I do ex give him the benefit of the doubt here because he, he tends to do very well-researched videos. And this is actually, he called it part zero of a larger series on the Indi on the American Indian. Uh, and so he's just like, just to be clear, this is why I'm going to call them Indian for the duration American of this series. Indian. That's what you call them. So the problem he, they said that they had with Native Americans is that they felt it was too inclusive. Because Indian is the word that is usually used for continental United States groups of first people. But Native American can refer to anyone from Greenland, Canada, the U.S., Central America, all the way down to the tip of Argentina, right? If they were there prior to 1500, sure. they're a Native American. But you wouldn't just call them Indian. You would call them American Indian. He calls them Indians, I think. I think in this particular thing. They prefer or at least the people that he spoke to preferred Indian or American Indian, he called them. It's just it was very that is interesting. interesting. I'll, try, I'll work on that. Not that it's wrong, but here's the thing. Who is going to correct you on that? Some white person is going to tell you that you're being— But then I'll tell them. <laughs> and I'll show them. I'll tell them. Watch your documentary, <laughs> sir. I have a friend that's 120th Native American. Yeah, he yeah. prefers to be called American yeah, Indian. Yeah, but the thing is I don't— And I haven't spoken to anyone personally on a yeah. reservation, so I don't know. That's funny. The video—I'm not saying it is. I'm sure the video is— <laughs> We'll assume fantastic. Yeah. But you could also just find a minority of people that feel that way. Yeah. Only videotape them. Ignore everyone that wants to be called Native American and be like, see, nine cases. Yeah. That's all of the people. Yes. Like what? And I think it exposes the core issue with PC culture, which is it doesn't intent matter more than mm -hmm. than. And of course, if somebody asks you to use a particular thing and you continue to ignore it, like if somebody decided to call you john over and yeah, over yeah. and over again you know you'd be like please call me ben yeah. <laughs> that is what is my name 
uh, you can you can adjust. But yeah, in an attempt to uh, be hyper inclusive, and you can just get it wrong. Yeah. And it seems like that doesn't make you a bad person. It's just focused more on the intent and the person to person connection rather than the erroneous use of any particular word when it wasn't meant derisively. Sure. Uh, Anyway, what else we got? Well, wait, that's my one Thanksgiving thought. My other Thanksgiving thought is how hilarious are humans when we are trying to figure out hacks that allow us to be more gluttonous? Like the answer <laughs> is clearly just eat to your stomach's capacity or even 10% less than your stomach's capacity yeah. and then stop. But there's regularly human experiences. We used to go to this all-you-can-eat steakhouse when I was in college once a month. And one of our buddies was in pre-med. And he went, I learned that if you alternate salty and sweet, you can eat more. You're st you can trick your body into eating more. So we would alternate between the bananas and the steak. Stop eating when your body gets full. You know what I mean? And this is the same thing. It's just funny. Oh, let's drink bitters so that we can hack our body into yeah. eating more turkey and stuffing. Yeah. How gluttonous can we be? Just, just eat until you're full and then stop. Well, I think part of the issue is that we now have refrigeration. And uh, there's a period of – large period of human history is like we got this kill. We got to eat it. <laughs> you know, it's going to sure. spoil. It's going to go rotten. So but there was this. Not in 2019. Yeah, certainly not. Certainly not. Why were you eating so much? Were you guys trying to put on muscle or something? Or was it just a cool No, it was thing just a, it was just a masculinity thing. It was just an eating contest. Yeah. Because, well, and it was also you're in college. And so it's all you can eat, right? Mm -hmm. So you're not flush with cash. And you opt for this, at the time, fancy dinner where you're spending more than you would at Chipotle. Mm -hmm. So there's this weird sense of I'm going to get my money's worth. And my money's worth is defined not as, as much as an enjoyable amount, mm -hmm. but as much as humanly possible. Yeah, yeah. Right? So you just got a bunch of 19-year-old meatheads trying to get their money's worth, <laughs> and that's what happened. Having one bad meal to avoid the next two. <laughs> what and else? to be fair, it was great. Yeah. It was great. I used to – yeah. Fogo de Chão, man. That's uh, what it was. I remember. Back in the day. All next right. up.